Bessine Pax Gravita. Interior data room. Simon and Paul look around for the data storage center. Simon enlists Dolores' help. Dolores, scan for the location of the possible data, data entry port. Simon, it's at the upper left hand of the console. I can do one better. I can scan right here and download the files. Okay, go. Dolores scans and records the files into her memory. Dolores is almost done when an alarm goes off. A mechanical voice screams. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Unauthorized access! Stop what you're doing now! Simon screams out to Dolores. How much longer do we have? 30 seconds. We don't have 30 seconds. What do you have left to do? The data is already saved to my memory. I'm deleting the files from the virtual memory of the system service. It's almost completed. Paul looks back in anger at Simon. You didn't tell me this mission was to destroy the system's memory core. If I had known that, that was the case I'd never have signed up for this. Simon looks back at Paul. If I had told you my plans, you wouldn't have done it. You're darn straight I wouldn't have done it. Now you've put not only my life, but my family's lives in danger. How dare you? What's done is done. Now we have to get out of here before security shows up. Dolores interrupts. Okay, the download's complete. It's time to go. Dolores, open the doors. The door slides open. Okay, move. Simon and Paul leave the room. As they turn the corner, a group of guards meets them. Have you seen anyone suspicious here? Simon walks over to the guard. Oh, no, sir. The guard looks over at Paul. What about you? Paul notices something is wrong with his suit. He sees glitches on his monitor. No. No, sir. The guard notices that something's amiss. Ask him a question. Are you all right? Paul's suit starts to shut down. Paul yells to Simon. Simon, run! Paul pulls back on the guard's arm so that the guard can get a round off. Simon runs for the time travel room. The door opens, Simon runs into the door. As the door closes behind him, Simon sees that another guard gets a shot off, blowing Paul's head off. Fade to interior time travel room. After Simon enters the room, Dolores locks the outside door, then starts up the vortex generator. What are you doing? Simon, you have to leave here. It's not safe for you anymore. I can't leave here. My best friend just died. Simon, you have to leave. If you don't leave, they'll kill you. You'll have to time for mourning later. Simon stands in defiance. No, I will not leave. What about Paul's wife and family? What about Sherry? I've taken precautions just in case this were to happen. They'll be well taken care of. Sherry, we're setting you up. I can't believe you. If you don't believe me, then listen to this audio file. Dolores plays the file. Sherry's voice can be heard. Okay, I've done what you asked me to do. What next? Keep him preoccupied. We must not allow him to fulfill his destiny. This is kind of underhanded. I know. You're getting paid well for your services. Don't tell me you're getting soft on this guy. He's nice and all. You're my man. You've always been my man. Don't you ever forget. Dolores ends the playback. Now you know the truth. You must leave. I'll cover for you. There's pounding on the door. Simon Kirk, let us in. We'll go easy on you. Simon looks back. There's an explosion. The door comes off the hinges. Time to go. Bye, my dear friend. Simon jumps into the vortex. There's a blending of colors. An opening then appears. Simon is thrown out onto the ground. Exterior, street, New York City, 1894. Simon stands up to see what a sight that's not familiar to him. He consults Dolores. Dolores, where am I? You're in the year 1894. The place is New York City. Okay, that clarifies everything. Why this time and place? One of the greatest inventors who ever lived is here. Nikola Tesla. Simon smiles. Why him? I think that you're going to help him in some way. Simon talks with concern. How will I survive while I'm here? Find a blank piece of paper. The laser will project a hologram onto the paper that will last for a day. The image will be of the proper currency. Okay. Simon hears a man talking with a Serbian accent. He goes over to investigate. 